Well, we have team coverage of the coronavirus pandemic. That's right. Our team is digging for the facts you need to know without scaring you. 13 News Now's Adriana Diaba, Allison Basil, and Evan Watson are all tackling different angles of this big story. All right, let's start with Adriana live at ODU, where university leaders just released an update for students. Hey, Janet. Well, leaders were supposed to have a press conference today to give us an update on the situation. They've decided to uh, switch from having classes on campus to online, but they say they still have a lot to figure out before they can make this difficult transition. And we also had the chance to chat with students on campus earlier today. A lot of them told us they still have a lot of questions and concerns about how this will work for them. In a push to prevent the spread of coronavirus, colleges across the state are suspending classes on campus, among them Old Dominion University. Leaders at the school now face what they call a challenge of helping more than 24,000 students transition to online classes later this month. Students like Tania Winston still have a lot of questions. And some people are upset about it because they do pay money to be here and money going back, like, are we getting that money back since we're not going to be able to take classes? And another thing they're looking at is not everybody has internet at home. Everybody doesn't have laptops. So how are they going to do their work? Those are questions the university hasn't answered yet. In the meantime, students on campus have to leave by this weekend. Those who are away for spring break told to stay away. We have a lot of international students. So just to think a lot of our students went home for the weekend or home for the spring break, so a lot of international students will be coming back to school. So I think they took the right precautions. Having Yadego is one of those international students. He's from Ethiopia. No, I don't want to go home. I do have some research to finish within these two weeks, so I'm going to work from lab. The PhD student will continue living off campus and working in a lab which will stay open. When will it be safe to be back on campus? It's a question this university and others across the country will have to address as the coronavirus situation changes daily. And ODU's plan is to update students with any new information by April 6th. And of course, we'll continue covering this and we'll have that press conference once we learn when it's uh, being postponed too. For now, we're live in Norfolk. Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now. ODU is one of several colleges and universities in Virginia moving to online classes. Norfolk State, William & Mary, TCC, and Thomas Nelson Community College in our area will have online classes elsewhere in Virginia UVA, Virginia Tech, JMU, VCU, and George Mason are all moving online. We'll update you as other schools make announcements about COVID-19. Regent University is not changing its current class schedule for now, but 11 students and one staff member are self-isolating. They all attended conferences where someone else, not affiliated with the school, tested positive for COVID-19.